Hi folks, this is Jeremy Yang, Associate Instructor for Applied Data Science at Indiana University. This is a brief video lecture on what I think is a fun topic. I hope you think so. And it basically is about a particular word, the word model. So the title is Why Data Scientists Like Models. It's about domains and definitions of this interesting multi-purpose word. So what kind of models are we talking about? You've probably heard of scientific models, perhaps statistical models, and of course in this course and others, predictive models. But there are more definitions and the word is commonly used and perhaps ambiguously used. So again, I thought it would be worthwhile and maybe fun to delve into those meanings. Well, here are two models, fashion models. Uh, Twiggy was a famous model of the 1960s and 70s. Kate Moss, quite a bit younger, but um, probably quite a bit older than some of you. In any case, uh, models are humans which are who model clothes uh, for other humans. So they kind of substitute for the people the clothes are supposed to be sold to. Uh, you know what a model is. Why am I saying it? Um, let's go to the next slide. Well, here are some more models. Barbie and Ken dolls. They're dolls. Arguably, they are models of fashion models. So they're toys, but they represent a human. And it's interesting to look at how these toys, these models of models have evolved over the years and changed their look. So let's go from these examples to some words we might use to say what is a model. A model is a kind of substitute for something else. It's not the real thing. It's a representation, a proxy, perhaps a simulation. Perhaps it's pretending to be the other thing. So I used to play with the matchbox cars like this one. The pickup truck is a real object, but it is a pretend of a real pickup truck. Uh, another word we like to use nowadays is virtual. So it is a virtual thing or an idealized thing, perhaps. Maybe often a simplified thing from the real thing. So what is a model? Getting a little bit closer to our field of data science um, and more conceptual, um, a model is a concept, an idea, uh, perhaps a conceptual framework, as this um, figure seems to suggest. Could be a system of belief an understanding of something that is real, a mental construct or mental model. So let's go through some examples that are perhaps more relevant to data science um, suggested by these figures, these illustrations. And we'll go through each of these individually, so I won't stop here, but this gives you, gives you some idea where I'm headed here. There are physical models. So for example, on the left, there's a patient model like a big Barbie or Ken doll, but sufficiently anatomically correct so that it can be used for medical training. On the right, a very famous model, which helped contribute to the Nobel Prize of uh, Jim Watson and Francis Crick. So it's the model of DNA that they built with their hands out of wires and sticks and clamps and so forth. Um, it is a model of a molecule. Here we have another model of a molecule, but not built physically with sticks and wires and balls, but rather a computational model. This happens to be the vitamin B2, otherwise known as riboflavin, represented in a computer as a molecular graph, as a data structure, and then rendered and represented in a user interface uh, via 3D graphics. So again, very much like Watson and Crick's model, but not. Animal models. This is a term used by biologists to describe experimental animals and the experimental system of using a particular animal to represent a human for medical research. Ah, now we're getting to something more like data science. A statistical model can refer to the assumed population distribution of a particular measure, height, weight, income, etc. 
More generally, the statistical model might include more than just that distribution, but the mathematical system involved in hypothesis testing, for example, confidence interval generation. These are the statistics-based processes that are used to try to interpret information and knowledge from data. And we have here in the figures a normal distribution, otherwise known as Gaussian, and on the bottom a Poisson distribution with varying parameters. And now predictive models. This is what we build with machine learning. So usually statistics are machine learning based, predictive numerical or categorical outputs, for example, from, for examples uh, from input features. So you know what a predictive model is, I think perhaps best or quite well. It is a computer program essentially, or oh, it can be done by hand, as you know. Um, so it's a mathematical um, program whereby inputs are converted to outputs predicting a particular uh, regression or classification. And this figure represents what could be uh, a support vector machine or it could be something else. So finally, in summary, I would say models of all sorts serve to connect reality with thought, to assist in cognition. Reality depicted by the earth there and thought in the head. A famous quote by a statistician, which is quite apropos, is a longer quote, but what people often quote from that is all models are wrong. What he meant is that all models are imperfect since they're models of reality and they're not perfectly reality, but some are useful. And I think that is a good summation.